Glenwood Resource Center won't officially close until 2024, but one guardian says she's already seen the care for patients diminish. Good evening, I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. The facility was cited again this week for putting a resident in jeopardy. We told you how Iowa State investigators say his oxygen had been turned off while he was being moved. It stayed off for nearly three hours despite staffers checking on him. He did recover. Tonight, one caregiver says residents there should still feel safe considering the facility will remain open for nearly two more years. KETV Newswatch 7's Abby Peterson has tonight's big story. State investigators noted a lack of staff training in their most recent report. The caregiver I spoke with said she's seen fewer employees and says new workers do not appear to be getting much guidance. Allegations of abuse and human experiments in 2019 led to a federal investigation in the state's decision to close the Glenwood Resource Center in 2024. Since then, state investigators say a disabled resident died of dehydration. Another went without oxygen for nearly three hours. It was like, oh God, here we go again. Pam Bachman is the legal guardian of a resident at the center right now. She's concerned about staffing and how new employees are being trained. State investigators also noted a lack of training in the case of the resident who went without oxygen. It's heartbreaking and it's frustrating. Bachman says she's seen a lot of staffers leave since Governor Kim Reynolds announced the closure back in April. She says she's noticed some new faces there since then. There have been times that I have stopped up to visit and I've walked in and I don't recognize any of the people that are working with them at all. Bachman says she does not blame the employees. She believes the longtime staffers are doing the best they can without enough help. You know that there are good staff up there taking care of your people. And then to hear these stories come out, it's like, oh my God, every time you turn around, there's something new. That's why she's so concerned about the residents and families who depend on Glenwood Resource Center to keep their loved ones safe. I'm extremely nervous and not just for my girl, for, for the other clients as well. We've reached out to Iowa's Department of Human Services and we'll let you know if they respond. We should note the state is offering incentives to keep Glenwood Resource Center staffed. That includes an extra $1,500 every seven pay periods. And as the closure approaches in 2024, the state plans to help staff find new jobs.